All right, sorry about the dark camera. The dark, it's nighttime right now because, you know, it's like the daylight saving time, you know, you know, in the Matrix. But I want to talk about my life a little bit. Now, I may upload this video tomorrow or next time or maybe upload today, depending on how I feel. Because, you know, I got to get back in time because I walk about an hour to get back to my house, you know. It's close by, but it sometimes it takes a while to walk. Or I could take the bus back, which, you know, you know, you know, pay for it. But, no, you're not, that's a nice story, but don't talk about that. But today, I'm going to rate my rate. I'm going to rate my life. Is my life that awful? Or is it for me being spoiled? Or is it me being annoying to society? Now, let me be honest. Let me give a disclaimer. I am not a spoiled kid. I don't condone any harassment in this video to anyone who thinks I'm a bad guy or if, if I'm an enemy. So, after we get this claim out of the way, let's get to the video. Now, the first thing I'm talk about is my life. My life is very interesting, okay? I have a lot of things to thank you for the 38 subscribers on the channel. Uh, I know and, like, people are like, why don't you edit like, videos like crazy? I, I, I don't I treat it as like a journal because like honestly, like, you know, it's a bad idea. I actually hate this journal. It's a good idea. Because it, it's like, YouTube is supposed to be your authentic and I think like the fact that we have to edit it every five seconds is like tiring. I'm terrible at editing, so I think the best way to make videos is just, just, just do this, you know, this actually God intended, you know, YouTube. This is YouTube God intended, you know what I'm saying? But today I'm going to rate my life. My life, I mean, it's not garbage. I mean, not that bad, but it's pretty interesting. I'll say my life is more of a misunderstood, like very misunderstood life. My life has been very full of misunderstandings. And I'm not, like, I want to make it clear, I'm not a bad guy. I try to do good. I want to do good. It's just like... I serve, as a person with bipolar, it is really hard to live in this life, especially as an adult. Because, like, you don't see the world, you don't see the world as, like, as a normal human. Like, normal people, they understand it. I Me, mean, I still don't understand the concept of providing value to society. Well, fact, well, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying that I don't understand that you have to work a job you hate. But, like, the job you hate, to the great jobs, you have to provide value. Which, that confuses the hell out of me all the time. Like, really, all the time. And that, that bugs me the head on me. But then you have to worry about taxes, which you got to do. Obviously, you got to pay your taxes. But I always struggle with that because in my life, I didn't know what's the point of life sometimes, man. Like, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I didn't get what's the point of it. Because I always struggle with what's the point of it, you know? And it's always been hard for me to figure this out. So that's why I just... I'm not saying I gave up on life, but I just, I just, I just, be, I just became into some interesting meditation. Even though it's not real, obviously, I think manifestation is not real, but it could be real. I think if, I mean, some of the things came to The reason I say manifestation is real for me, from my experience, I always think negative, and negative things happen to me in real life. So that's why I believe in it, because my, in my life, my experience, it's actually real. I'm telling manifestation is real. I can be absolutely wrong. Maybe I'm absolutely maybe I'm being delusional, but I'd rather be delusional knowing that I am in a good mood than go, <laughs> not believe it, and then it happens. Because I thought it, it thought it in, in assistance, you know? Like, it's crazy how back then I used to think negative all the time. Oh, I'm going to go to Rumsey, and then it actually happens. And now what I do, I think positive. I'll be like, oh, I'm going to work with Google. And guess what? I mean, ma and make a meeting for Google. So, yeah, manifestation is real, not end. You know, it's real. People are like, oh, it's fake. I don't care. Anyone says, I know people like saying it's fake. I just, maybe, maybe the majority of people are fake. But for me, if unless you're like, unless you're like a chosen one, I tried everything, okay? I tried everything and nothing works. The reason why nothing works is because I didn't manifest the right way. So that's why I believe I have I believe manifestation to work. And for instance, I see seven 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 all the time. Um, for instance, you know, so it's real, okay, it's real. Now obviously not everything is real. For instance, like little like big things go take time and you know, you, but just, I think what people don't realize is that minds it's not most people when they believe in manifestation, they believe, okay, you just believe what they want to believe, and then they say, oh, do that, think that, and then it's going to happen. No, you have to put action. What people don't get it with the manifestation community, they think, oh, you just you think it, and it happens. No, it doesn't work like that. You have to put action with it. So me, I put action, put it on my website, on the web server. I, I actually put action, which also amplified the manifestation. Most people don't realize. Most people, you're not going to hear this from me. You know, most people are like, oh, why? Most people are not going to hear from me from the manifestation community, because most people are like, oh, can you just write it down, and it happens. No, you know, the certain things that didn't happen to me, because I didn't put action, you have to put action with it. Now, not every time to go work because obviously it's life, you know, we're in a matrix. But if you're a chosen one, you should be fine. You should be definitely fine. I uh, wish most people are not chosen ones. So, yeah, that's it is what it is. But I'm not talk about the, I'm not gonna talk about that. But the point is that I don't know. But like lately, I I don't know. My life is not bad, but 
I know I'm gonna title this video because my videos have been really bipolar, but I think that I think that what's interesting is that my life has been interesting. I, I didn't have a good I, I had a good life, decent life. Like my mom wasn't bad, she was pretty good. Pretty good mom. I mean she you know, forget for sakes, she taught me how to walk and she taught me how to like um not like be an idiot in the street and talk properly, you know, be professional. And I say what when you act about too. Because I used to say what all the time, which I don't do. But I say I gotta work on that. Because sometimes I catch myself saying that. It's bad. You, you don't want to do that. I apologize afterwards. Because I think that's the right wrong way to say it. But I know that like I know to switch up from my professional to my rap. You know, because I make music too, which is my R-rated stuff. And then I make a PG stuff on YouTube for advertisers, man. And for Nintendo, of course, because Nintendo squeaky clean, so you gotta keep the brand loyalty. But I just think that my life, not, it's not necessarily bad, it's pretty decent, so, it's pretty, I, had a, I had a decent life, man, pretty decent life, you know, pretty decent, so, I gotta get back early, because the problem is, like, the problem is, like, I gotta get back, because I don't have a key for my house right now, and I accidentally lost it, so I had to get a new key soon, which is gonna be expensive, and I gotta get a new ID, and all that stuff, which is, you know, expensive, but, um, but I think my life wasn't necessarily terrible, but it's, like, it's just, I think it was me doing some dumb decisions in my life, a terrible decision, a terrible, very dumb decisions in my life that led to be basically my worst case scenario. Um, if I didn't drop out of college, I'd probably be in a better situation, probably more stable. Um, but I won't have this YouTube channel. I think won't be able to focus on it. So I don't know how I feel about it. But if it gets better, if my life gets better from there, then I, I won't regret dropping out of college. But I, I don't recommend doing that because most people are kneeling like, oh, drop out of college and do that. I think that's a bad idea. Don't do what I did. Don't believe everything on the internet because I learned out the hard way. Especially when we're doing two. Don't believe everything. Don't believe me. Don't believe everything what you see online. And that's the biggest problem with me. Is I used to believe everything. I still do to this day. There's some, there's some times you catch me see, oh, that's up to con. Which I get, but you don't want to do that. Because, you know, you don't want to do that. <laughs> you know, you don't want to do that. You know, but I think one of was a gift because... I see, like, the, I, I don't know what happened, but after, after 2002, yes, it was terrible, but 2017 was bad, too. But even, even 2017, I never see, like, angel numbers all the time. I never see synchronicities. Because that's when, I think after 2002, it was very, my lowest poem. That's when I know synchronicities all the time. I see 777. I see, like, weird numbers, like 666, which is bad. But I see, like, weird synchronicities all the time. And I think that's why God woke me up from the Matrix. Because I can't see the world the same thing as I used to. And this is why it's been hard for me to adapt. Because most people get a job, and I'm like, the job's satanic, you know, most jobs are satanic, they're run by the devil. And I try to avoid the devil stuff, because the devil always attacks me at the wrong time. You know, even like sins, you know, I gotta stop doing sin, the coin videos, because sin and all that stuff, which is really bad for, for, for me, for, for God. So I had to get back to God, I had to stop doing coin videos and do good for him, because that's why God, you know, maybe God, that's why God's angry at me. So I know God's real, because, you know, he, you know he's, he's a jealous guy, this but he's a really jealous guy. You know what I'm saying? So, but I think the majority of the story is like, it's, I don't know, my life isn't terrible, but just, I, I, it's just, I just, I just, I just been misunderstood, I think. I think that's what it is. I think I'm mis misunderstood in my life. i like very misunderstood all my life, you know? So, it's not necessarily bad. It's just, I just did dumb decisions, you know? Very dumb decisions. And I've been misunderstood in my life. You know, very misunderstood in my life. You see me now, because it's light there, there's a light there. But I've been misunderstood all my life with sad so yeah i know i know how i feel about i don't know how i feel about um i don't know how i feel about like what's going on with me but i know it's gonna get better i think it's gonna get better i have faith i hope the guy gets better because i got a mail recently and you know when i get checked mail it's always negative or stressful like oh you need to fair verify this and it's like government always want to verify every little thing it's like come on you know my name at this point you look at my name on youtube so it's like annoying no it's this higher so and it's like, I remember back in the day, my mom used to do everything for me, which, granted, you sh don't be lazy like me, but it was like an easier, you know, kid, being a kid was easier. And I gotta miss being a kid, you can't be a kid no more. But it sucks, you know, I mean, I mean, granted, my sister had a baby, so he's, she's lucky, she doesn't have to worry about, like, all that stuff until, like, let's say, like, 18 or 21, which, I, I'm barely surviving, I'm barely surviving, I have bipolar, and it's hard, to, as hard as adult with bipolar to survive. It really is, you know, people are like, oh, it's easy, no, it's not. It's really not. It's hard to live with it. And I think we need to invest more in mental health because, you know, you, because the, the only option, basically the only option for bipolar for me is that go, if you freak out, let's say freak out, had a mental breakdown, go to the hospital, get tied up in like a bed, 
go to the hospital, get injected with needles and drugs, basically. And then, like, you just, like, they want to they release you, do good. If you don't do good, then they reject you more. And if you do good, then they release you, basically, back to the streets. And then, and then you can't get help. You don't get help. You go, oh, we don't, we're not going to help you financially. We're going to torture you and just, like, leave you in the street and rot. It's kind of sad. Even Japan, Japan is not bad, but Japan does something too. Every every world they don't take mental health seriously, and that's why if I was wealthy, I would invest in mental health. Because the thing, think about it: if you have good mental health people, if you have all people with good mental health, the world probably be in a better place. You know, that's why we have a lot of psychopaths in this world, and that's why we have a lot of crime in this world. Even even people that scam me twenty thousand dollars, I'm gonna do a scammer who scam me twenty thousand dollars, and he probably has like psycho. He was evil. He was really evil, and he has like a lot of psychological that was evil. Now, if we if we open mental health cases, we probably help him. Okay, don't do this crime. Do help people, and not the actual real skills, not the fake skills. Where, well, granted, maybe he hated me, so he probably hated me. But that's a bad example. But you know, the point is, I just wish that people help each other. You know, people are like oh, we, you know, what people don't realize is we're all connected. You know, like I'm, I know people are like oh man, oh man, I want to hurt this person. I want to kill this. I want to nuke this person. I can't say the K word because of YouTube. I want to nuke this person. I want to make him disappear. But we don't realize we're all connected. We're all actually connected. I mean, eventually we're going to pass away. Right? Eventually we're going to pass away. Eventually we're all going to go, go, go to that graveyard. You know, we're all going to eventually go pass away. That's just the reality. I'm just being, I'm just being real. I'm not, I'm not being, I'm not being dark. I'm not being suicidal. I'm just being real. It's just like eventually all, all the people will pass away. But, yeah, so it's like, I don't know. I don't know what to answer about life. I don't want people just like, I don't want people just like help each other. But I don't get it. I don't get why. I, I just don't get it. <laughs> you know, like, if, if, if name me a person that actually cares, except for profits, which I don't, I can't think of nobody could think of that. Most people, they just care about, like, themselves, which is kind of sad. I mean, there's a video of a homeless man who would prove the point. If you, if you basically, what the thing is, if you go to prison and then do something bad, and then you try to get a job, which you can't get a job because you're in prison, which you can vote so, but you can't get a job, which... It's stupid in my opinion. I think you should like. I mean, depend on the crime. I think you should give unless you're like an EDP four four five. Then you should never live a life again. But if you, I don't know. It depends. It depends. It de- I don't know if you, I, I think you should. I'm not. Look, I'm not. I'm not a lawyer. I'm not like a doctor. I'm not even. I'm not even like a. I'm not even like a lawyer. But I do think we should. We should at least give them. At least give them like some labor job. At least some labor. Some, at least something. Like if we, okay, no job. I understand. Like not, if you're working at Google, that's understandable. You don't want to work at Google with your opinion of record. But if you're like working at, let's say, like a McDonald's, like, I'm not, at least that. Like, it's low. St- I mean, well, no wonder people don't have jobs. No wonder the economy is wrong falling apart because you don't hire, you don't hire the, actually, the one that actually needs the job, you know? And most hiring managers are like, oh my God, we need to hire these people, you know? And again, life is unfair and that's a good thing. But man, people are so stupid sometimes, man. Like, it's so stupid. Like, I mean, I mean, it's very st- incredible. So. Like I said, I'm not against people. I mean, you have to worry about brand loyalty and all that stuff. But, man, people need to fix this, this society, man. They need to do something, man. It's like, holy, man. And people are like, oh, oh man, we're going to... So we're going. It's like, I think the problem with the world is like it's all competition. Like, back then, even even back then, it wasn't really competition, but it was competition. Like, all, human beings, they, like animals like like they like competition. I don't know why human beings like this. It is so weird. It's like solving the matrix, okay? And they're solving the crack in a computer. And, like, I think most people, like, are, like, like um, are, like, robots in the society in the Matrix, you know. I'm trying to save the Matrix, personally. And that's why I'm trying to make these videos, man. Hopefully it blows up, but... No, I'm not blows up, but grows, you know. You know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about, you know. I'm talking about grow. I don't like saying that account, because I know, I know people are like, Oh, my God, he's evil. I'm not evil. I'm just, like, you know, growing. You know, growing on YouTube, but... That's the problem with context. Context is key, you know. I don't, I don't want to say that in the context, but... I might have to that video. I hope it ain't say anything bad, but but I think that I think YouTube is really good. I love YouTube really well. YouTube is a really good company, very good place to live, and it's awesome, pretty awesome YouTube platform. But I'm grateful that YouTube gave me opportunity. To do. I mean, granted, I mean, my sticks on the YouTube channel, but it's going to expire soon. I think December 12. That's when my warnings will expire. So I've been doing good. I've been doing being a good boy on YouTube. So it's going to expire soon. I made a mistake on my end. Which was dumb. I was granted it was the dumbest mistake, which I, I, I don't know why I did that. <laughs> I did some terrible decisions, obviously. But yeah, it should be good. Never had a, I didn't have a warning or anything. It was just one, which was my mistake. And I corrected. So hopefully, upon the 12 expires, 
and I could just continue to do YouTube, get my warning back, and do YouTube. Because I did took a policy training, so hopefully it goes away. Unless the updates were like I can't get it back, which would suck. So yeah, that's that's my take on the video. So the majority of stories help people enjoy life, and I love you guys. I'm out.